Hey guys, it's Ghost here, and welcome to my first development vlog for a game that I'm developing on the Unity engine. This game is uh, heavily inspired by games like Blockland, Roblox, Minecraft, and a couple others. And today I just wanted to show off some recent progress and show off uh, and talk about the movement system, the uh, brick painting system, and the build uh, physics system which allows you to turn your builds into interactive uh, physics objects. And I am floating right now, and that's because there's two different uh, modes for building. The first one is a uh, free camera movement system, so I can move around uh, freely. And as I move around on the map, the uh, floor grid generates around me. And you know, if I wanted to, I could go off and explore. And even though there's really nothing to see right now, but the uh, the grid is infinite, so you can go out and build uh, wherever you want. And speaking of building, if you want to spawn a a brick, you can just click, and it spawns relative to the direction you're facing. You can raise and lower it by using your mouse uh, scroll wheel, and you can rotate it clockwise and counterclockwise you can build just like that or if you want you can switch back to the normal player movement system and you can move around like a normal player and build similar to uh, how the building works in uh, Blockland so you can click and spawn brick and right now there's uh, three different bricks you can choose from a base plate the 2x4x1 by by brick and a window. Now stick with this brick for now. And you can uh, position the brick just like you can in Blockland. And this is also relative to the direction that you're facing. And you can rotate it and raise and lower it by pressing or holding the uh, plus or minus keys and you can uh, toggle different modes for shifting as well Th uh, that's normal shifting there's also plate shifting and full or super shifting which moves a brick relative to its uh, to its size when painting bricks you're no longer limited to color sets of 64 colors you can use any color you want by bringing up the paint overlay and you can use the RGBA sliders to set the bricks color to your preference it even supports uh, transparency or you can select the random color option and this will randomize the bricks color every time it's planted and there's no longer a uh, visual glitch between opaque and transparent colors and if you want to repaint bricks you can just bring up the paint overlay paint bricks just like that some bricks allow you to access and recolor the various components that you set up when you model the brick itself and they will show up down here in the paint overlay and in this case I modeled the frame and the glass separately and uh, this allows me to paint them individually so let's say if I wanted to set the uh, the frame to be red and I wanted the glass to be transparent blue you know that's possible with this feature and I'm sure this can be used even beyond the painting system like if you want to set up events that would hide uh, various components of bricks uh, that's certainly possible and last but certainly not least I wanted to talk about the build physics system which allows you to turn your brick builds into interactive physics based objects and here I just have a, a pretty normal house you can go inside and it's locked to the brick grid so you know even if you run into it it won't move but at the press of a button you can convert it into a physics object and send it flying across the map you can throw it at your friends whatever you want to do and let's say if you get bored and you want to continue building you can snap it right back to the brick grid 
And that concludes uh, this video and my recent progress thus far. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for future updates. Till next time.